to you, my children. There are not enough stories out there featuring the Headless Horseman, a unique monster that could symbolize the glory of Halloween, even if he is just a story meant to scare a school teacher. Or perhaps he's something more. For tonight, the Headless Horseman rides again! Private Detective Duke Durbano tells the classic Washington Irving tale to the children of his girlfriend, Kim Carter, saying that while the horsemen in the story might have just been some pranksters, well, no one can say for certain as to whether the Headless Horseman was real or not. The story has a special connection to Duke and Kim, though. Kim's husband, Matt, was murdered six months ago, his final words mentioning the horseman. However, Kim and Duke think it's more likely that less supernatural hands were responsible for Matt's death. Although considering the series is called Supernatural Thrillers, I would not hold my breath. Assuming I actually still needed to breathe. I do it for fun. Kim says that Matt was a cop investigating a criminal named Bones Bullinger. And it seems the good Mr. Bullinger is not done yet, since his goons throw a bomb into their window that almost kills them. Duke goes after the goons, the thought of the headless horseman remaining in his mind as he continues to pursue them. And it seems he is not the only one who's got the infamous figure on the brain, for we see that Bones Bullinger himself has a costume of the horseman. Indeed, it seems he used the suit to kill Matt, and now plans to use it to kill his goons, not wanting to risk them implicating him. Back in the chase, the goons manage to shoot back at Duke, not killing him, but forcing his car off a cliff. He survives, but not the goons, as the horseman soon runs up to them and crashes them, killing the killers. Duke, of course horrified at the sight of the headless horseman, runs off, but now he is the one being chased as the horseman follows him, tossing his flaming skull at him. But fortunately for him, it is unclear how much of that was real or a dream, for he wakes up in a hospital bed, having been rescued from the accident. Kim is there to greet him when he awakens, startled and believing the horseman will now be real. But she brings him back to Earth, telling him that it was likely Bullinger impersonating the horseman as a way of frightening businessmen into paying him protection money. Duke realizes she's right and heads off to Bullinger's office to confront him about this. Once there, he discovers the secret horseman costume in his closet and heads back to Kim's house to phone the police. Ah, but his trip does indeed take him through Sleepy Hollow, probably the inspiration for Bullinger's scheme, and soon finds himself with the horseman on his tail. At the infamous bridge of the story, he tries to force the horseman into the ravine below, though it sends both him and the horseman into the water. Duke's insurance must have many questions about the amount of cars he has destroyed within a single day. The police soon arrive and fish out his car. However, they do not believe this story concerning Bullinger and the bridge. Why? Well, it seems Bullinger's body has been found at his office where he suffered a fatal heart attack and a look of pure terror on his face. Sadly, unlike other Marvel horror characters, this version of the Horseman did not go on to other appearances. Which means it's time for a comeback! Have him fight Ghost Rider! Flaming Skull versus Flaming Skull! Ah -ha 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 